I'm Ben the Deacon here at Deacon and I'm here digging for Brendan Fairclaw out here in lovely Utah, Rebel Rampage 2019. Why not? I'm Ollie Wilkins and that's a hose. What keeps you motivated out here, Ollie? Um, the thought of getting to the end of it, really. Yeah. That's, that sounds miserable, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it is that though, yeah. Ticking each thing off is quite good. Getting in the zone, ready for the day's adventures of stiff backs, blisters and dehydration. Yeah, man. I enjoy this bit, it's fun. We've, got, we've, got, we've all got kind of like a... Uh, we've all got the same goal, so it's fun working together on some... Even if it's picking a hole, still kind of teamwork, isn't it? Makes the dream work. We spruced up we quite a lot of stuff from last oh, year. We're super lucky logo. that nothing really yeah. got weathered too much. I think we had one take off that fell down the mountain, but other than that, all is pretty looking well from last year. Lock and load, baby! We are obviously on our way in the magic fun bus that we call Poppy, <laughs> and this is our daily drive-in in this thing. It's a lot more practical than the truck because it allows us to cover ground much faster, more effectively, and most importantly, we're doing a daily drive time. So we're just talking absolute crap on that GoPro. There's, there's no good filmers out here to cover this event. So we thought we'd um, do it ourselves. Take it in your own hand. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. We got a plumbing job on, unfortunately. Thanks to Deeks over there, he blocked up the bog. <laughs> Day four, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the drive time. We got to get, this is live, straight to the UK. It's our favorite security guard. Hello. Woo! Our pleasure! Woo! Go on! <laughs> Basically, pickaxing rock and shifting dirt is not fun, but when it comes to like finishing stuff off and facing stuff and packing stuff in, that's the fun yeah. bit. But then what are we doing today? Fun bit. No, nah, we've got a bit of shifting to do. We're pickaxing rock again. Well, you know, mate, it's the gimbal. <laughs> Built-in coffee gimbal. <laughs> <laughs> It's a desert, but it's supposed to be hot. It's freezing. Just gonna get the water for the day and snacks, like motivation snacks. It gets kind of bleak up there sometimes. Life is good at Rampage 2019. Does it ever feel like Groundhog Day? <laughs> Big time, dude. The same thing every single day. Like, I don't, you know, when you message home about what's going on, like, what do you say? Yeah, we, we dug. <laughs> Then got food, then went to bed. <laughs> like, I can't, there's nothing else to say, is there really? Do <laughs> you feel yeah. a part of it? Like, do you feel like... Oh, massively. Like, I'm, I'd like to think that I'm like, you know, quite a macho guy coming from the Marines, but I, I fell on the floor crying when he landed the rock last year, because it's just, you're full of emotion, because you just, all you know for the last nine days is just chipping away at rock. And then when your mate's throwing himself off a rock and actually landing, you're just like, oh my God. God. So yeah, you feel massively a part of it. And obviously, we wouldn't be here without Bren driving, but at the same time, Bren would struggle quite hard getting from top to bottom without me and Ollie. So it's like, there's so much respect between us three, as much as we call each other idiots all day. So yeah, back in the marine days, filling sandbags in the desert, the only advantage with this, you haven't got someone trying to snipe your ass off, so it's not too bad, I guess. Cool thing is, when you're filming, Ollie is actually 100% more productive because he puts on a show that he works that hard. When's the six pack coming out? It normally does when the camera's around, doesn't it? <laughs> so me and Ollie have actually established that we are on less than minimum wage. You look at anyone else here, they're on pop star wages. Yeah. I mean, we're not, it's not less than minimum wage. It's... Well, it's a pair of boots. Thank you very much, Bren, for the 10 days of digging. It's absolutely appalling work conditions I mean, as well. It's boiling out here. We've got to pay for our own We're just hotel. Chipping rock. Yeah, we've got to pay for a hotel. We don't actually pay for our own hotel. We can't lie on camera, dude. You don't get your wallet out the Bre whole time Brendan's dad pays for that. If we could raise a million pounds, would you try? I'd, I'd jump it for a mil. I'd, I'd really love to ride all of it. I think it's linking it all together, but the idea of doing that is so gnarly. Because... You, you know, you've just landed something that's like so horrible. You want to like, stop and high five everyone, and then you've got to carry on and 
into another feature that's so horrible. And, and really on this run, there's so many of those, for me anyway, like literally straight out of the gate, we've got like a hipped, a hipped drop off completely blind into like mega steep section like that's straight out of the gate and you've got endless another number of features that are so gnarly you prick <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come to rampage he said it'd be fun he said do you ever think about some of the consequences or do you just try and put it out of your head? I think because we're so, we don't just go, right, I'll tell you what, Bren, jump off the rock drop, but a lot of thought goes into it. So we'll look at it, evaluate it, first fix it. If he thinks maybe we need to change this, we need to do that, then we make it rideable. I mean, Ollie is actually really good for Brendan from that point of view, because Brendan's not really all there. So Ollie can sort of try and guide us both to hopefully as a team we'll come together and get us all down in one piece. And I say us, yeah, it's Brendan going down, but we, as we said earlier, we feel very much a team effort to get him down to the bottom, so it's pretty cool. Like all this stuff, realistically, Brendan would probably jump this how it is, but obviously me and Ollie are like, come on, dude, you can't, can't start crashing your brains out. It's not gonna, not gonna pay for our hair transplants or jet skis, is it really, you know? So This year we've had to run these it's so dusty. We've all got one, one set of shorts each because we're from the UK. This hat, right, I've done six rampages with this hat. Keeps it from going in between your uh, sock and your shoe. <coughs> Try that out sometime. You're welcome. So last year, managing time was meant like really crazy. We had, we had a whole run to put together in barely any time. This year we can like polish stuff up a bit more and uh, not really chill because there's always so much to do. We're going to fill all our time, but certainly you know a run's already there. You just got to improve on it. I wouldn't want to be someone digging for the first time. Don't want to talk too loud. That's traditional English dancing. <laughs> Long day. Give me another one, it's time for lunch or something. Okay. Uh, it's time for lunch or something. Me and the guys are not coming next week, we're not gonna have to Yo. Right, right, dude. You said that. Cookie, Cookie. Cookie. Here's what we got today. Crisps, salad, nut butter filled peanut butter cliff bar, apple and a cookie. Oh, no way. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Any, um, on anyone's story? I know, I know, I got you. Oh my! Yeah. Right my legs are getting so blown out from all this hiking. <laughs> my name is Matt Edliston, much better known as Oatman in the mountain bike world, and I'm digging for Carson Storch. I've pretty much known Carson my entire life. We've been hanging out and riding and doing whatever we're doing together for a long time. So best way to describe our relationship is definitely like big brother, little brother. I live with him at his house. So um, always digging in the backyard. And uh, we came here in May for a Rocky Mountain video. And so we built two full lines here in the desert for him for that shoot. So I have a little bit of experience in the desert here, but this is a whole nother game. I'm uh, super thankful and psyched to, to be a part of it. So it's exciting. It's been a lot of fun and we put some, some good man hours in and uh, it's our fourth day of digging and then we have a rest day tomorrow and then another four. Oh, he's doing great. Obviously it's a big learning process digging out here because uh, you know some of the techniques are a little different, but he's obviously got a little bit of experience here in Virgin. The uh, work level is a little shocking for anyone, so. You know, sometimes we gotta yell at him, but <laughs> I'd say all in all, it's, uh, he's a hard worker, it's good. As a builder, it's one of the funnest things you could ever do. It's probably the hardest work ever, but it's so amazing to be here with all the most talented people like in our industry, building cool lines. 
it's obviously a contest, but at its core, I mean, we're all just out building cool stuff. Yeah, the first time I came out, I was like, well, I'm not going to skip this until I'm 50. <laughs> this is just a different level of insanity. It's uh, when competition, did, like when he starts testing stuff, I'm not going to be nervous or anything, but once the competition day is here and it's going, the nerves definitely stack up and because, you know, you're putting all that you have in this one line and tricks and and just intensity and everything like that, like, it it's, gets pretty hectic for sure. So, yeah, I'll be nervous on competition day for him, but not saying that in a bad way. I think he's fully capable to win this event, and I think he has a line to win this event. So um, I'm, I'm really excited for it. So this year I had the option of coming out to film, but, um, when you film out here, a lot of times people will razz you a little bit for how hard digging is. And I do really enjoy digging, so I figured I'd switch it up and ask Ethan if I could come out and dig for him. And he was stoked. We've like worked on a couple things together. So yeah, just trying something new. And uh, Tom invited my two buddies from home, Dan and Dill. So right now we kind of got like a little Vancouver Island lit building session. Definitely a lot more blisters when you don't have a camera in your hand. Your hands are just so stiff. They're just stuck like this, just from picking rock all day. Right now, we're kind of like, you get to the point where you just get so tired that everything kind of becomes funny and you're just full autopilot. You just, it's one thing to film, but to, to be on the other side of the camera, just to know what it's like, to know what all the guys are going through. Um, it, it's definitely gonna be really cool to look back at. And I think, like, definitely going to remember this forever. If you want to know what it's like, you know, to dig a rampage, you got to be a sick, twisted guy. You know, you can't be a normal person. Most normal people could not do this out here. You got to hike up a mountain and pick rock for like five days. This, uh, this part of the mountain is just covered in rock and there's not too many opportunities. Um, Brett wanted a sick jump, you know, and every single option we saw was terrible. This looked like the least terrible. We knew that it was going to be absolute, you know, solid rock, but we figured since the rest of the line was pretty much made, we could do it, eh? Building for Brett, especially at this event, it's it's kind of the pinnacle of free ride mountain biking, so big stunts, high consequence, and uh, it's kind of you versus the terrain out here. And so when me and Matt are chipping away at a line like this to help Brett get another feature and to make it so he can ride exactly how he wants to ride, each swing of the pick, each chip of the rock just kind of adds to that momentum behind Brett and his riding. So if we can help move the mountain for Brett's benefit, then it benefits us in the end. So early on in the dig, you're just like not finishing anything. So you're just, everything you do just looks really bad. So it's really, really rewarding to actually finish something or at least just make it look like you could ride it, you know? Definitely some days you bummed out and you get back, but it's all work that we got to do. I guess all of us know that, so. Another day done. Another water bottle emptied. Got rest day tomorrow, so it's the only break in all of Rampage. Quite looking forward to it. We're going riding tomorrow, we're going to ride Kong, and we're going to ride cross country. Yeah. So it's not much of a rest day, but it's our kind of rest day. Yeah. That's it, end of the day. Rest day tomorrow. So stoked.